Hey guys, Sean here. I just got done watching a movie that I had recorded on my DVR called The Apparition. It stars Sebastian Stan from Captain America, um, Tom Felton from all the Harry Potter movies, and um, Ashley Green from the Twilight series. And as a side note, yes, I do watch Twilight even though I'm a guy, so... Anyway, this movie was incredibly... This movie, The Apparition... Is a 2012 horror movie. I say horror movie because normally in a horror film you expect to be scared off your out of your wits. This movie was not scary at all. It was completely boring and uh, so little, if, if anything, happens in it that it's basically just three people wandering around a house, monitoring a ghost, spirit, or demon, whatever that is attached to their house. That's all that really happens. Nothing happens in this movie. The movie was directed by a guy named Todd Lincoln, who was a first-time director. And, I mean, yeah, I understand. You gotta start somewhere, but do you have to start with a boring movie? I mean, come on. Pick something that's more exciting. Um, here's how I can tell you it's a boring movie. About five minutes in... That's how far I got bored. Five minutes in. And I don't normally get bored five minutes into a movie. This one I did. That's how bad it is. But, yeah, it's basically about this young couple whose house is plagued by a, this supposed frightening demon, and they call in a paranormal researcher to, to help them get rid of this demon, and then yada, yada, yada. That's basically the storyline, I guess. But this movie is so unscary, so boring, and so little of anything happens in it that the story really doesn't matter. Because it just these basically these people wandering around our, around our house for nearly two hours. That's including the commercials, because I, like I said, I recorded on my DVR to watch. Based on a review I had seen, and... I'm kind of wishing I hadn't, because this movie's, like I said, it's so boring. I'm not really there's as much as there's anything I can say about this movie, because it's so boring. Uh, this may actually be the shortest review I have ever done. Um, now, the, I'm going to say something that that there is very little music in it. There is no... The score is basically non-existent. Like, literally, there's no music in this. The actors... They have nothing to work with. Their performances come off as, as, as flat as possible. Even from... <clears throat> even from Tom Felton and uh, Sebastian Stan, who I like in both Harry Potter and Captain America, uh, they just have nothing to work with here. Neither does... Um, Neither is Ashley Green. She has nothing to work with either, and <clears throat> she's fine in the in the. <coughs> <coughs> and she's fine in the Twilight movies, which, like I said, I actually watch those, even though I'm a guy. Um, and no, I've never had to be dragged to one by my girlfriend because I have no girlfriend. I just watch those movies to watch them. Anyway, I'm off. I'm going off on a tangent. You see what happens when there's nothing in this movie? In a movie, I go off on a tangent on a different movie. <laughs> but yeah, this the movie apparition is so boring, so pitiful that it's hard to review. There's because nothing really happens in it. There's no story. There's no plot. There's there's just nothing. I mean, I will admit that the demon, the way it looked, was a little creepy. I will admit that. Um, if there's a plus about this movie, it is basically seeing Ashley Green undress in the movie. That's that's always nice to see in a movie is a girl undress. That's you know, it's nice to see. But aside from that, this movie is completely boring. I don't. I just, 
all I can say is I hope that the actors in this movie all, all have, gone on, have all gone on to better, to bigger and better things. Because, like what, because with Sebastian Stan, if you guys have seen my Captain America review, he's, he's awesome in Winter Soldier. He's really good in that movie. But this, he's terrible. He has nothing to work with. Neither the other two actors. Felton, um, um, yeah, yeah, speaking of Tom Felton, this is the only movie I've seen him in outside of Harry Potter. That's well, aside from Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which he was good in. But, someone explained to me this one. How is it that Daniel and Emma have, Daniel and Radcliffe and Emma Watson have gone on to have better careers and have been in good movies, where Tom Felton and Tom Felton and Rupert Grant have gone on to pretty much nothing, basically. Food for thought. But, yeah. Um, I can't really say anything about this movie. It's so boring. And so little even happens in it. So, I guess I'll just I guess we'll leave you guys with that. This movie sucks. Don't see it. Bye. Hey guys, Sean here. I just got done watching a movie called Mama, released back in 2013. It's kind of, it's basically a horror movie about these two young girls who are supposedly, you know, lost in the woods for five years, and they're raised by this weird demon that they call Mama, and they're basically found by their uncle and his girlfriend, and are raised by them, and are basically supposed to help these girls readjust to civilization and whatnot, uh, and all the while this demon is trying to find these girls because reasons, you know, because the plot says so, and uh, this movie made no sense, to be honest. Um, I will say this, that the demon called Mama is... She's very creepy. I'll give her that. I'll give the movie that. She's creepy. Um, the cast, I think, does does well with the material they're given. Um, I really didn't like... There's this, there's this aunt character that I didn't really like because she thinks that the girls should come live with her, so she tries anything she can to make the uncle and the girlfriend seem like they're unfit. Um unfit guardians, so she does anything she can to try and get the girls to live with her, and I really didn't like her character. Um, the movie wasn't really all that scary, I mean, there was a couple parts where I jumped, but it was mostly just creeped out and whatnot, but all in all, I don't really think there's much I can say about this movie, even though I just watched the that thing. Um, the soundtrack I thought was kind of cool. Um, Guillermo del Toro was a producer on this movie, which I thought was kind of interesting. I mean, he didn't direct it, but he was one of the producers. Um, the, the person who does the music, I can't really pronounce, I can't pronounce their name because they have a foreign name, I think. Um, I don't think I can pronounce the director's name either, but this was, and this, this movie was released in 2013. Um, it, let's see. It has a 65% on 65% on Rotten Tomatoes, and like it's basically just a horror movie that says it's the film deals with the story of two young girls in an abandoned forest cabin, fostered by an unknown entity that they fondly call Mama, which eventually follows them to their new suburban home after their uncle retrieves them. So. That's basically what it says. Uh, the director's name, I think, is Andres Mochiti. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. But, like I said, I butcher names all the time. Um, basically, the movie begins with this guy who basically kills his wife. And so he takes him out to this cabin, his kids out to a cabin, and he is basically planning to kill his kids for some 
odd, strange reason. Don't know. But, yeah. <coughs> um, to be honest, I didn't really care about this movie. I didn't think it was all that scary. I mean, it was a little creepy, but I don't think creepy is much of anything, really. Um, but I do think the actors, they did find what they had to do. The girl, the, the little girls I thought were really creepy, a little bit creepy. Um, and they did their parts very well, I think. The ending was kind of strange to think about. A little weird to think about it. But all in all, I, I thought this movie was meh. I mean, it's not really anything, you know, special or whatnot. But if you guys like, if, if those who have seen it liked it, great. I really didn't care much for it. Um, so I guess I'll just see you guys.